you know what? I bloody love guns. We're getting ready to add a few new weapons to the game, and whilst our current band of mercs won't be getting their hands on them just yet, a few of the Meiju and 3rd edition loadout cards eventually make their way into the game. Soon you'll see a brand new bullpop rifle, pistol, and batons doing damage and causing havoc. The CDA aren't the only ones who are pushing the technological envelope. Arms manufacturers in the Dirty Bomb universe are stepping up their game, so you'll see this reflected in some of the weapons we're starting to introduce. They have a nice, sleek design which really fits into the Dirty Bomb aesthetic and grounds them in a world filled with advanced tech. When we start designing a new weapon, we look at what gameplay aspects the character has. We then do a lot of research to find real-world examples which fit the design. This acts as a starting point and then we add our unique Dirty Bomb spin. The Herzog 2K is our fastest firing automatic assault rifle. It has slightly lower damage and range when compared to the other assault rifles, bringing it closer to the SMGs, but it's definitely an AR. The Heuga 224 has the highest ammo capacity out of all the semi-automatic pistols, but deals the lowest damage. It doesn't stop it from being effective though, as it's great at rapidly tapping down or finishing off damaged enemies. Figuring out where to add and where to leave out details from real-world equivalent weapons is quite challenging. For example, our bullpup take on a popular Belgian handgun is still recognizable as such because of some of the key details we kept, but yet it still looks unique. As this doesn't really exist in real life, we had to solve a few interesting problems to make it feel like it could work, such as animating how it's reloaded and general use. For future releases, we intend for every new Merc to expand our weapon list, giving players more choices and variation. This means every new Merc release will see new primary, secondary and melee weapons. Every new character is getting melee weapons with unique and interesting visuals, as we slowly want to move away from just boring old knives. This gives us the opportunity to do some pretty cool stuff with animation and effects, which make them really fun to use. The batons are our first dual-wielded melee weapons in the game. They allow for quick light attacks and a very high damage heavy attack which uses both batons. Let's face it, smashing someone with dual-wielded batons is gonna rock. There's only seven days left before the ghost clip cases disappear from the store. So if you wanted to pick up some limited special edition ghost clip loadout cards, then now is the time to do it. Jack from Work The Space has started collecting clips from you lot and is compiling them into weekly top five plays videos. This week, one of the plays he's featuring is from Queb102, who manages to land a Kobe 4K on Terminal. Check it out and tell him we say hi. Last weekend, DB Nation finished off their Open Cup tournament and DMT9 took the victory. GG, WP and GZ. If you missed out on this tournament and would like to get involved in future ones, then be sure to check out their website and Discord channels. We highly recommend it if you're looking for like-minded, competitive players. Last week, the most reported issues were matchmaking, loadout cards and weapon balance. For matchmaking, we have additional improvements aimed at reducing queue times, which are planned for release next week. For loadout cards, above bronze rarity, the only difference is aesthetics. And with the way Dirty Bomb is, if you can't kill someone with a lead card equipped, you won't be able to kill them with a cobalt. And for weapon balance, we aim to do more balancing and tweaking, but for now, our focus is on improving CMM and gearing up for rank season four. More guns already? <laughs> That's pretty cool. But you see, that is exactly why you should be a subscriber. You don't want to miss out on info like this in the future, do you?